All right, if you're ready to launch, I am. Give me a sec, I'm gonna set up an F-11 camera. All right, I'm ready. All right, I'll launch first, and then you launch five seconds or so later. Remember, we can't launch at the same time. Cause... <laughs> Probably couldn't, anyway. Hornets. Launching now. Hey everyone, welcome to a modified version of the Magnum Force mission. This was a mission of the week back in, I believe, January. We modified it so that you could fly it in co-op with more than one player-controlled Hornet. This mission's kind of a neat one. Uh, you take off from the carrier and you fly inland towards Makop, and you're escorting a strike package providing seed coverage. There are two different targets, an SA-6 and an SA-8, as well as enemy fighters that may appear. The interesting thing is that everything is sort of randomized. The SA-6 and 8 will turn their radar off, and when they turn it on is somewhat random. And when the fighters appear is also random. They might show up first, they might show up last, they might not show up at all. So it makes for some interesting replayability, because the mission could play out a little differently every time. This is a four-ship comprised of Ravage Talon as the flight lead, myself, and two AI Hornets. I spent most of the mission just fumbling with unfamiliar systems in an aircraft I've only flown a handful of times. And you'll see plenty of that during the mission, so enjoy. Do you... check your com check your comms menu. Do you have a flight control? Like, can you command the flight? No. What the fuck? I have ATC, tanker, and AWACS. I can't control the flight. I don't know why. Huh. Not that we really need them, per se, but there's a point there's a point in this mission where we do get jumped by enemy fighters. Hmm. But it's only I think we only get I think it's only like two flankers or something that trip, so provided we don't just mad dog, we should be fine. I've 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 basically soloed this mission <laughs> for so, like I I basically told my flight to RTB nice. and then I did it myself. Nice one. Thanks. as I pitch down slightly and screw you up. <laughs> Ooh, you just went right into my wake turbulence. I saw that. I was totally in the external cam, so yeah. Just uh, don't hit me. Promises, no promises. All right, selecting waypoint two now. Flight turn to the Leveling off here at about Angel's Third. All flights focus SA-6 active make off. Pontiac flights proceed with caution. Springfield flight, you are clear to engage. It's us. Alright. Dropping my drop tank. Task one, passing Sochi. See them. That actually popped up quicker than I thought. Pontiac five, passing Sochi. You don't see that SA six, do you? I don't. In theory, should be off our nose. Is that SA-6? There it is. Oh yeah, you see it? it? 
We're both taking shots at it? Yeah, we'll both take a shot at it. Okay. Why not? Thanks, three. <laughs> we should get a little bit closer unless we want to punch up the speed. And, and How do I get the range to it? Or how do I see the range? You, you don't. Okay. Uh, you can get a rough idea of the range from its range circle on the SA page mm, right. if your data link is on. Right. So, like, if you set it to about 40 miles, if I had to guess, it's about 35 miles. Okay. But... Until there's a pre-brief mode for the harms, you really can't get accurate range information. Okay, good to know. But, uh, let's, let's cross waypoint three. We'll fire at exactly waypoint three. You ready? Yeah. All right, just don't fire that at me. <laughs> no promises. All right, weapons free. Take the shot when ready. Magnum. Magnum's out. Turning back towards waypoint. And, um... You want to make it easier to deal with the asymmetric load without having to aileron trim, just mm -hmm. enable your barometric altitude hold. Okay. And that will keep you level, and you can still roll the plane. Nice. F6 cam. Those should get there. Yours, mine, yours. Yours will probably hit first. Ooh. Boom. Neither of them hit. Oh no. They, they both missed. They're right in the area. Yeah, but you know what I think happened? They turned their radar off. Oh. Yeah, I'll do it. Let's line up for another shot before the SA-8 pop. Thankfully, we've got four of these fucking things. So after thinking we had failed to destroy the SA-6 radar, we flew around a few more times, trying to get closer and closer, seeing if we could provoke the SAM site into engaging us, not realizing that there was no way for the SAM site to actually lock onto us and engage. At this point, just kind of circle around, and if you notice the radar pop up, take a shot at it. Eventually, we decided to back off and just orbit, wait for another target to show itself. And that's honestly a big part of this mission. You spend a lot of time just orbiting between two waypoints waiting for one of your targets to activate and show its face so you can shoot at it. So there's a lot of downtime. But luckily for us, before too long, our other target, an SA-8, activated its radar. Oh, there's the 8. See it? Yeah, I just got a nails from it. Okay. And my harm, my harm display sees it too. Oh yeah, I see it. And I am taking a shot. Magnum. Magnum. I was just nose down really hard. <laughs> and all I was doing was looking at the, uh,
Oh, you know what happened? I stalled. <laughs> ah, that'll do it. And I nosed over. I don't think this is right. Ooh. Oh, wait. It might be. I. Oh, yeah, that's a shack. Yep. And the second one My, short. Mine. Yeah. I forget which one was yours and mine, but one of them definitely hit, and that thing's on fire. Yep. That SA-6 has not popped up again. All flights told this SA-8 reported destroyed southwest of Makoff. Yay, thank you, Yay. Focus. The most boring part of any realistic-ish mission, waiting mm. around for things to happen. Yeah. <laughs> realistic mission, like, go patrol on station for four hours. Nothing happens. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I said, that uh, the second mission of the enemy within, 90 minutes actual mission time. I cut the <laughs> video down to almost 20. Wow. I could cut the MI-8 missions down to, well, the same kind of percentage. One hour missions, six minutes of actual footage, and it's all just landings and takeoffs. I mean, I try to just cut out where, like, literally nothing's happening. Bike MiG-29. Yep. They are 46 miles. Flanking. Bike 29. I just flew right under me. I can't fucking come up and see him. There he is. If you've got something locked up, just make sure it's a diamond and not a square. I don't have anything locked up. Um. And it's a fur ball. Just fired something. Yep. Mm. Hey, look at that.
flights focus. All enemy aircraft are destroyed. Picture queen. Hey, we did it. You really didn't do anything. And now it's just a matter for the ground pounders to finish what they're doing and get the hell out. Essentially, the mission's won. Don't have to worry about that SA-6 then? I guess not. Pontiac huh. 1, we have egress on our RTB. Yeah, all right. Now, in theory, we need to fly back to the uh, carrier, but... I'm almost afraid to ask how much fuel you have. Uh, fuel state 3,100 pounds. Yeah, that could be enough back there. I don't think you want to fly all the way. You give it a shot. Okay. I just don't know how much time you have left before you need to leave. Um, we'll see. Should be fine. All right, well... Carrier is 74 X-ray, TAC can. Okay. Let's see you do a carrier Pontiac landing in the sun, bitch. <laughs> On ILS channel 11. One. Seventy-three X-ray, you said. Yeah. I think easy comms is on, so we can just contact the carry and get its BRC. How do I set TACAN navigation? Uh, go to your HSI. Is assuming your TACAN is on. Mm-hmm. It is. Uh, go to your HSI and then just the TCN button. Okay. <clears throat> so, like, instead of navigate towards a waypoint, you navigate towards the TAC. Right. So this is one of those unsure of the plane systems things I was talking about earlier. I know what TACAN navigation is supposed to look like. I do TACAN navigation in the Harrier and the Tomcat all the time. I know what symbology to expect, and I'm not seeing it here. But rather than think I maybe made a mistake entering the channel, I think that maybe it works different in the Hornet for some reason. And I'm trying to figure out what it's supposed to look like here and why I'm not seeing anything that I expect to see. So I tried a whole bunch of things that didn't work and eventually asked for help and realized that, oh, I had entered 73 instead of 74. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm still learning the navigation symbology in here and struggling horribly. If you're, if you're looking at the HSI, the TACAN thing is like a little triangle uh, spoke looking thingy. Oh yeah, it's really I don't know which one it is now. Does it show up on the HUD at all? Uh, it should. If you're um, easy way to see it is turn off air to air mode or air to ground mode if you're in it. Mm -hmm. And on your heading tape above, you should see a little hash mark yeah, that so moves around now. with the bearing to it. That's what I was looking for, but I haven't seen anything so far. Do you see the range to the carrier on the HUD? No. Is your TACAN on? Yes. Did you select TCN in the HSI? Yes. You should see it. And I'm Is on. Is your TACAN station 74X? 74. You said 73. I did say 73? I thought I said 74. Ah. Now I'm well, on 74. Now I've got the... So symbology I'm expecting. <laughs> yep. It, it helps to have the same, it helps to have the right frequency. <laughs> yes. So you were doing it right, it's just the frequency. Hooray! You were doing it right, except wrongly. <laughs> <laughs> they ran out of gas. <laughs> Poor bastards, I couldn't tell them to RTBs. Speaking of gas, what's your fuel state? 1,300 pounds. Oh, boy. Yeah, gonna be tight. 
All right, you know what I'll do? If it'll let me. LSO cam. Hey. Come right a little bit. You're looking really good. Okay. Call the ball. I have the ball. Reduce power a little bit. Power back. Use it in. You're looking real good. Perfectly centered. You're looking real good. Trap. Awesome. Fuel state, 800 pounds. That was a two-wire. Thanks for the assist. All right, my turn. Look out. Was that your first carrier landing in the Hornet? Might be. Second, yeah, second. First one I did on our sandbox map at one in the morning. Ah. Three zero one Hornet ball, two point. Tell him hot. Yep. Nicely centered, a little high. Still high. Looks good. It's one wire. You could never see this many hornets parked on a deck in <laughs> Hoggett server. The what a shame, would explode. Eh? Probably for the best, considering the average skill of the average pilot. Well, that was good. That was. Thanks very much. Yeah, I'm surprised that uh, this mission just worked with the mod like that. I don't know what the hell happened with that SA-6, but I guess we scared it enough that it went over. <laughs> I guess that's we'll, the point. We'll go, we'll go with that. Yeah.